joining me here with Eyes on the Game here in New York City for UFC 244 being joined by Mr. Kelvin Gastelum. Now, I know everyone's talking about Darren Till, kind of awaiting, will he be here on time? How stressful has this week been, kind of knowing or wondering what that is, that's about? Yeah, no, we, um, we were told of the VC issues last week and was told that he was going to be cleared and have no issues getting over here. He was going to be late, and so we were aware of everything. And, uh, you know, UFC sticks to the word. Once they say something, I, I, it happens 100% of the time. So I, I was pretty confident that they were going to get it, get it done. Now, were you surprised at all when you first heard of that? Yeah, I was. And uh, I thought, like, the fight uh, was not going to come through. And uh, maybe, maybe, ha maybe we would have to push it back. But, um, no, I mean, we, everything, everything's going to be all right, I think. So how have you been preparing for Darren Till? Well, obviously, I mean, you're very well-rounded. You're a great striker, great wrestling, but he is strong on the feet. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've faced my my uh, my certain, uh, sorry, I, I've faced my, my, sorry, what am I trying to say? Your toughest opponent I in Israel? A lot of uh, high-level strikers is what I was trying to say. Uh, sorry. I face my, my share of, of high-level strikers, and I think uh, I, at this point in my career, I've seen it all, and I feel like I'm prepared for whatever uh, Darren brings to the table. Do you think there's a possibility, I mean, there will be a finish? Yeah, I'm always confident that I'm able to finish my opponents, especially in the first round is, is where everybody's most dangerous. Now, what can you take away from your fight against Israel that was or is the fight of the year? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I went back and studied the, the film several times and wrote my notes and did things. And uh, wrote my notes, things that I want to change and things that I want to implement from, from to my style from here on out. And um, I think you'll see that in my, in my next fights. Now, were you surprised at all that Israel stopped Robert in the fashion he did? No. I mean, I think he, looked, he went out there and he looked great. And um, but that was expected, you know, and I think uh, a year long layoff for Rob might have affected his performance. You know, he went in there and, 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 and looked a little reckless. Now, if or when they have a rematch, I mean, I know I'm sure you want that rematch against Israel as well. But do you think the same outcome would be possible uh, with Izzy? Yeah, Izzy and Rob. I feel, oh, uh, the rematch between them. Yeah, because you mentioned Rob's layoff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much uh, Rob would adjust uh, his style for for a rematch, but I, I feel like if I get the rematch, then it would be a completely different fight. How so? Just uh, my tactics and my strategies would be different, and my, the way that I approach the fight would be different. And lastly, I mean, Paulo is scheduled to be out six to eight months right now Yoel Romero on Twitter he made some videos kind of calling him out do you think he deserves that fight in the meantime yeah why not if they want to do it then book it I feel like uh, right now my focus is on this fight I don't I don't want to focus on any other fight other than, than what I have in front of me so if they want to book uh, Yoel at Insaya in February I think they should